Why Stick is one of our quick audibles that I love to call versus man-to-man -man defense. We put A on a slant out and LB on a drag. Now the reason I love this play is because the assignment switch that occurs versus about 90% of man defenses in the game. Well let's take a look at how that happens. Now as you can see we've got two linebackers over the middle of the field. The guy on the left has the running back, the guy on the right has the tight end. The guy on the right's covering the tight end, but because I put LB on a drag, number 56 and number 50 do an assignment switch, and that leaves my tight end wide open. Number 50 must go down and protect against the drag in the, in the low flat, and my tight end is wide open for a reception. So let's see what happens if I just put A on a slant out without the drag. As you can see, number 50 continues to cover the tight end, and we don't pick up as many yards. Now just to kind of make the scheme all work together, one thing I love to do is motion X to the outside to make it look like we're thinking about throwing to that side of the field. They're in man-to-man -man defense, we slant out A, put LB on the drag, and we get a wide open catch. Again, nothing's going to happen with this route over here. As you can see, he kind of cuts back into the middle of the field, but it's not really ideal. I mean, maybe I could have thrown this ball, but we're not even really going to concentrate on that route. Really what we want to look at is, again, the assignment switch that occurs, and our tight end is going to be wide open. Again, just for distraction, motion X out to the left, and this time we're going to hit B over the middle. Let's say that we've abused them with the slant out just a little too much. They're onto that. They're over there covering it. All we need to do is hit B, wide open versus man-to-man -man defense. And we're just going to be able to do this all day if they're calling man-to-man. -man. Slant out wide open or B over the middle. He's going to his right. Throws. Running strong downfield. Oh, this is a and we'll have a first down and ten. Has a man out to his right. And he's running with a purpose now. Racing toward the end zone. He's gone. And on the very first play. Chiefs under is another great play out of the ace pair chief formation. And it's also going to give our opponents a different look as far as who we're motioning on offense. So we're going to streak X, smart route B, put A on a slant in versus man, A on a drag versus zone, and motion LB to the left. Now once LB hits the arm of the inside left receiver, we're going to snap the ball, wait half a second, and throw to a wide open running back. So let's take a look at that again. Once LB hits the arm of Andre Johnson, we snap the ball, wait half a second, throw to a wide open running back. And the reason I love that LB route out of the backfield is because it beats man or zone defense, and a lot of different zones it'll beat as well. So as you can see, he's just going to get wide open a majority of the time. We're going to pick up a good chunk of yards. But really, <clears throat> the route that I love out of this formation, or out of this play should I say, is streaking X and hitting B versus zone. Especially this cover 3 defense that we're facing right now. Anytime you see a cover 3 defense, this B receiver is going to be wide open 98% of the time. Now I'm not sure if you noticed on the last play, but I put LB on a drag. And I love to motion, snap the ball once he gets to the arm of the inside wide receiver, and this time he'll cut in underneath, and it's an easy five yards. So let's just run a couple random plays and just take what's there. Again, LB, or sorry, the B receiver wide open. Now I hate to sound like a broken record, but out of this formation, that B route is another incredibly easy user catching route. It's just like some of my other routes that I show you. You just want to click on the receiver, pull down on the joystick, and make this spec catch animation. Anybody can do it. It's that easy. Again, B, look at this. I'm getting the spec catch animation pretty much any time that I want. So we're just going to continue to just keep running this play just so I can show you a couple different ideas here. 
always snap the ball at the same spot with the running back so they'll never know if our running back is either going to go to the flats or come back through the middle. Now the reason why it's so great when we do this when we put LB on a drag or leave him on his regular route is if the user tries to defend this route he's absolutely going to be screwed. If he tries to go to the outside and cover the flat over here and this receiver is on a drag and he comes back over the middle the defender is going to cheat way over to the flats and we're going to pick up an easy catch over the middle. Again, we're facing a cover three, so we know what's going to come here. Let's see. Who am I going to go to out of the backfield? Well, I kind of gave that away, didn't I? So you really kind of have to, you know, trick your opponents. Let's say we're murdering them with cover three with that B route. We got to also sometimes not always just take the big yards because if they decide that they're going to play deep and cover that B route, we have to keep them honest, even though we know B's most likely going to be wide open deep, and hit them underneath just to keep them guessing and make sure that our players are always wide open when we want them to be. Short pass to his left. He's got it! Touchdown! Dumps it out right. Flips it out short to his left. Michael Huff was there for the stop. Has a man short to his left. Short throw to the left. He's open in the end zone. Surveys the field. He's got it. Touchdown. He's looking towards the left side. And the tackle was made by Andrew. Surveys the field. To the 20. Is he going to score? He powers into the end zone for a touch. Still looking for an open man. He leaps. What a catch. And the tackle was Searching for an open man. Leaps, and he's got it. PA Chiefs Dig is a play that has a lot of nice different routes that beat man or zone defense. For this, we're going to focus against man defense, and we're going to look at the B route. Now, to set it up, we're just going to block LB to cancel the play action. Motion our receiver, our B receiver, all the way to the right, and snap the ball. Now, as you can see, he got wide open on the inside position. Now, the only way that this is generally going to be defended is if our opponent comes down and user controls it. If he leaves his defense in man-to-man -man and does not come down and user control this, there's no way that the computer defender is going to be able to make a play on this ball. He's going to get burnt to the inside every single time, and we're going to be able to pick up a lot of yards. Sometimes 15 to 20 yards, and sometimes we're going to take it to the house for a touchdown. Again, just motion him to the right, snap it right about there, and throw a nice quick pass wide open. Passes short right side. Major right was there to... Short throw to the right. He's... Dumps it out right. Terrence Newman was there. Short throw to the right. He powers it. Versus zone defense is when I really love to call this play. All we do is streak A and block LB. That's the setup. Next, we're going to motion X to the outside just to keep our opponent guessing and make him try to use or defend an area of the field that we're not even looking at. Now the corner route that our tight end is on is going to be wide open versus most zone defenses. This time we're going to motion X to the inside, again just to confuse our opponent so he literally has no idea what the hell we're going to do next. If he bites to the left, we're going to hit A deep 
or the Y on the corner route every single time. Now against man-to-man -man defense, we can motion our mini C route to the right and look to hit him when he cuts to the inside. But if our opponent user defends this route, we can still hit the tight end corner one-on-one -on -one for a user catch. Now unfortunately the ball was overthrown this time, but those things happen, you get the idea. Now even versus zone, we can still motion B to the right and hit a wide open tight end for, yes, I have to say it again, another easy user catch. This is yet another incredibly simple user catching route anyone can do with ease. My grandmother could user catch that route. Now there's just way too much to defend on this play, especially when we mix this in with all of our other plays properly. It's just way too much for our opponent to defend. Now our X receiver can also kill man coverage on an outside motion. Now it's not quite as deadly as the other route that I showed that, that does this, but since we're motioning him left for a distraction anyway, doesn't mean we can't pick up big yards if we notice that he gets nice separation. Now I gotta be honest, I've never had as much trouble making a guide in my life as I did with this one. The reason is that I didn't want to put the work into practice mode and doing the voiceover for this video. All I wanted to do, and all I still want to do, is play. And I want to play because I love this scheme. It's not just a really effective formation, but it's really fun to use. All the motions and confusion that we give our opponent, it's just so much fun. Now, one of the main feedbacks that I got from using this formation is that it's mentally draining to defend. No one wants to have to think that hard for almost an hour. Another person told me, he's like, dude, if people start using this scheme because of your stupid video, I swear I'm going to hate you. Oh, and one other thing, don't forget to motion your halfback left even when you're just going to block him with no intention of throwing him the ball. I love keeping my opponent on his heels all game long. Looking for a man. He's going to his right. Throws. First down. Ten to go. Good coverage downfield. Complete. He's got room. And he's running with a purpose now. Searching for an open man. And the tackle was made. Right. Halfback stretch is a run play that goes really well with the scheme that we're running. Now we can motion either X or B to the right hand side of the field and snap the ball either when our receiver gets just outside the tight end or wait until he gets all the way to the right hand side of the field and snap the ball then. The reason why this mixes in so well with what we're running is some of the plays I just showed you where we're motioning X or B to the right hand side of the field when we're passing the ball. Once we snap the ball early, if the, our opponent gets caught off guard and he's not expecting a run, we're going to pick up some big yards, especially when our receiver makes a block like you just saw him make. Now here I'm going to motion him all the way to the outside. He's going to carry the defender a little further out and we're going to hit it off tackle for a big game. Lynch takes it right side. That's a touchdown! Lynch gets the ball. Touchdown, Seattle! Lynch gets a handoff to the right. And they finally... They hand it off. He's dropped down. Okay, so before we finish up, I just want to give a bit of additional information. The one defense that gives the scheme a little bit of trouble is cover two. So I want to go over the routes that are going to murder a cover two defense so that it's never a problem for you. Halfback belly weak, the inside motion of our X receiver on PA Chiefs wide drag, the tight end corner in PA Chiefs drag, and the corner route that our B receiver is running in KC smash. 
All of those routes do a really good job of murdering a cover two defense. So I hope that you guys enjoyed the scheme and you guys put it to good work. And don't forget to make sure that you subscribe because I'm going to be posting about 10 to 20 free plays and schemes for the rest of Madden 12 and all through Madden 13. Also, don't forget to check out thegamerslab.com. You can find me there under the name Mr. Smith 26 and I'll answer any questions that you might have regarding any of the free plays that you see here.